Hey, single ladies. I'm so glad to come in to talk with you today. So I keep running into, and every once in a while I'll say, I keep talking to this particular type of woman, or I keep running into women who are experiencing this problem in their dating lives. And that has happened several times this last week. So I recently talked with a woman and she's saying, I don't know why I made this mistake of dating this particular guy for a long time when it wasn't going anywhere. And I can totally relate to that because that's what happened to me. And in my 20s, I dated a guy uh, for several years when I didn't feel good about it. And honestly, I didn't even really like him as a person. Like, he was okay, but we weren't best buds, right? He's not somebody that I could have seen myself marrying. But I stayed in that relationship for a long, long time, like three and a half years. And um, looking back, I can clearly see why I did that, but at the time, I couldn't. So when this woman asked me, well, why did I do that? Why did I date this guy for a long time? Or when women say, why did I allow myself to get pulled into that unhealthy relationship? Or why didn't I, why, why wasn't I more purposeful in my dating life? Why haven't I been more intentional? It's because, and I've said this a lot, that whatever happens inside of you happens outside of you. So whatever's going on in your internal world, it's what's going to happen in your external world, world, in your dating life. Now, I don't believe that we can control everything, but I do believe that we have control over some things, and that's how we act. So in my case, in the situation with the guy that I dated for three and a half years, when I wasn't really confident that I was going to marry him, in fact, I didn't feel good about the relationship, it was because what was going on inside of me was a lot of fear. So that relationship was serving me, right? So I was afraid of commitment, and I was afraid of getting close to a guy, and I was even, even more than that, I was afraid of making a bad choice. Now, I'd been in a relationship in my early 20s that really, really hurt me when that relationship broke up, and it caused me to question myself. And so this relationship, and question my ability to make a good choice. So this relationship that I got in with this guy that I dated for three and a half years, the way that it served me is that it kept me um, from facing the decision that I needed to make to get out of it because I was afraid I couldn't make a good choice. So that's what was going on inside of me and that affected why I stayed in that relationship. So here's a big takeaway from what I want to share with you today is that the things that you do in your dating and relationship life, whether it's staying home on the weekends and not going out because um, you know you don't feel motivated or whatever or whether it's drawing a certain type of guy to you and maybe even a better way to say it is allowing certain men into your life whether you're doing that or uh, maybe you stay in relationships way longer than you should or maybe you cut men off really quickly at the beginning and don't give them a chance all of these behaviors are indicative of what's going on inside of us, and they're serving us somehow. Just like in my situation, staying in that relationship that wasn't healthy and wasn't good, what it did was it was keeping me safe from facing my fears. So I was saying I was wanted, I wanted, I said I wanted to get married, uh, but what I was actually doing, those two things weren't matching up, right? And I see this a lot uh, with the women that I coach. So in retrospect, I can look back and I can see it clearly, but at the time I couldn't. So here's my challenge for you, is to ask yourself, does what I, um, is what I, sorry, I'm tongue twist, tongue tied, um, does what I say I want and what I am doing, are those two things matching up? Do they, are they, you know, in agreement with each other. Because if you say you want to get married, but if you're staying in relationships for a long period of time that aren't healthy, or if you say you want to get married, but you're not putting yourself out there, or if you say you want to get married, uh, but you're, you know, cutting men off really quickly, or if you say you want to get married, but you're ruling guys out, or whatever it is, you want to make sure that what you're doing and what you say you want are in agreement. And then ask yourself, how is this behavior that's hurting me, this non-productive or unproductive dating pattern, how is this serving me? And then ask yourself how you can move past it. All right, I hope this has been helpful, and I'll see you next time I go live. Bye-bye.